Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well, and it's great to see you all watching today. I will be talking about YouTube's new monetization updates and changes, what they mean for creators, and give you my thoughts about these updates and changes. So I hope you all enjoy, or at least find this video informative. Now for those who are unaware, providing context courtesy of Bing, which has taken bits and pieces of information from all sorts of sources, quote, YouTube has made changes to its monetization policies, where the new YouTube Partner Program terms must be accepted by July the 10th, 2023 to continue monetizing on YouTube. Partners also need to accept new terms to begin earning shorts ad revenue starting as early as February the 1st, 2023 or on the date accepted. Also, YouTube is lowering the requirements for creators to get access to monetization tools under the YouTube Partner Program, or YPP for short, with the new conditions to be qualified for the Partner Program being that you have 500 subscribers, three public uploads in the last 90 days, and either 3,000 watch hours in the past year, or 3 million shorts views in the last 90 days. Although you will not have access to ad-based revenue, all the while the company is expanding its shopping affiliate program to US-based creators who are part of the YouTube Partner Program and have more than 20,000 subscribers." Unquote. Which seems all well and good to me, folks. Assuming it's accurate, of course, because I'm sure you all know how accurate the mainstream media are, especially when it comes to their opposition in the alternative media. But now on to my personal views regarding YouTube's monetization changes and updates. Now personally, I was aware of these changes made recently, especially as I have always believed that YouTube had missed an opportunity to financially benefit from smaller creators and solid communities, though finally the platform understands the potential of smaller, more solid community-based creators, and as a result of these changes, Smaller creators will have access to memberships, super chats, super thanks, and super stickers, of which YouTube takes 30%. Though this is a big win for small creators, folks, who have an established audience, who either cannot pass a thousand subscribers, or cannot pass the 4,000 hours in a year. Like this channel, for example. Currently, we are on the crossroads of 1,600 subscribers, yo-yoing between the high 1500s and low 1600s, with watch hours being at about 3100 to 3200 at the moment. So from my perspective, this is great news, and gives this channel the means to turn itself from a place of simple content creation into a wider creator enterprise, and so much the better, at least in my view. Though criticizing tranny demons and making AIDS jokes on reality based is hardly going to increase my chances of entering the YouTube Partner Program. Oh well, the best we can do is to keep our fingers crossed and slowly march towards 2000. For that, we can only hope that this channel can keep on going and also keep on growing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my thoughts on YouTube's monetization updates and changes. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel that bears my name, because the truth is reality-based. And check your still subscribed, folks, because YouTube likes keeping more independent and up-and-coming content creators down while propping up the dying establishment as well as their allies in the mainstream media. You can also find me on social media, be it on Twitter, Instagram, and even on Twitch. All the links are in the description down below, where you can join me in defending reality and being based in doing so. Suggestions for videos are always welcome in the comments section down below. And so I shall end this video by wishing you all a great day. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and no other genders, binaries, or tranny demons, Bye for now, folks.